Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to my channel again. If it is your first time, please subscribe. If not, welcome back. I'm Natasha Luna, the Origin Clean Actress in Hollywood, and today we are going to cook another vegan super fast and easy recipe. Today we are going to do beet gnocchis. Yeah. What do we need? For the gnocchis we need one beet and a big potato. I have this smaller one, so I'm going to use three, but we are in quarantine, so we use what we have. And for the sauce, we are, I'm going to use a white sauce with cauliflower. Not all of this, just a part of this, but let's see what happens. First of all, we are going to peel the potatoes and the beets. And then we're going to put them to boil. You can leave me in the comments if you have any ideas about what you like to do with the beets. It's a really special vegetable. I also like to eat it raw in a salads and also that's what I was going to tell you. I'm going to boil two bits. We're going to use only one for the gnocchis and for the other one, you can follow the other recipe, the one we make the soup, do you remember? Well, you can do a cream soup with the other bit. I like to do, you know, that's ideas. With one thing, two or three recipes, so we have like more and more ideas to become vegan and to make it super easy. Tell me if it's in your country, you also have this tradition that we have the Argentinians that is like every 29 eating gnocchis. What we also do is to put money under our plate. And for that tradition, the idea is that on that way you are calling money and you are calling abandons. Look at my hands, this is crazy. <laughs> I usually don't peel the beets, I don't peel the potatoes, I also don't cut it, I prefer to boil them like they are with everything on it because in that way they keep more vitamins but today I'm hungry so I'm going to do it I want to do it faster so I just cut them and we have this situation once we have our beet and our potato bowl in what we're going to do is the sauce we're going to do a cauliflower sauce sauce and we're going to use not this one of course it's a lot so I'm going to use just a part and the other part I'm going to make it in the oven I probably am going to put it in another different recipe so I will put then after the link just right here to have as I told you more ideas with any ingredients and to become more creative so let's put the cauliflower in in bo not boiling the thing is I don't know if you have a, how do you say vapor vapor I think it's for smoking uh, I will put the picture here if you have one of these it's amazing if you don't have one of these as I don't have, I'm going to put it in a pot with a little bit of water. The thing is, we just need to check that it just doesn't run out of water for not getting burned, but it's like the same process. I'm going to cut this cauliflower with my hands because I think it's easier, you know, to check like the waves of the little trees that they are. If you use a knife, you will cut them like on the middle. So it's better just to check the spot where you can do it and open it. Once our cauliflower is done, we can check it because it starts getting really soft. We take them off, we put it on a blender, we sp spice it with some pepper, some salt and I'm going to use some vegan butter that I have or you can also use olive oil. There we have, I take it off, I put it on the blender. As I always say, if you have a hand blender, it's the same. For this cauliflower in our blender, we can need a little bit of water. As you saw, I put it the water that we also have on the pot. So we keep like the same vitamins. If you still need more, you can use a little bit of oil, as I told you, olive oil, or just another water. Let's continue with the pasta. Once our potato and our beets are done, that we just put a knife and just go slow, it's done. So we take them off, we smash it with a bender, with a fork, whatever you have, and let's make the mask with some flour on it. Before, whoa, this is smoke, yeah. Before making the mask, that's what we have to do. Wait for this to get cooler, if not, we are going to burn our hands. So while we wait that this gets cold, we put in some pot some water to boil. This is going to be for the gnocchis, for the people that I don't know, we boil our pasta. Once this is cold, we smash it with a fork, with a smasher, with a bender, whatever you have. And now we start making the mask. This is the happy, the funny part. We are going to use some salt, some oil and some flour, the one that you have. Now I have some whole wheat flour and I think some rice. I like to mix them. The idea and then I'm going to show you 
is to get that perfect mass that you can roll it. That's the perfect consistency for the gnocchis. We start adding the flour and we start mixing with our hands everything. You can do it on a bowl like me or straight here, like in the kitchen. If we have some parts that you couldn't smash so good like me, I can just take them off to make the, the most smooth. Once our mass is ready, like this, we can put it here and we'll start making the rollitos, like little snakes. Once we have these little snakes, we cut them in small pieces of like two centimeters, like this. And we're going to try to make one on the water that we have already boiled, just to check that this is still being together. The time for cooking the gnocchi is one minute. The key is when they start floating. When they start floating is because they are ready. So my little thing is done and just get keep all together so we keep doing the other ones. We cut them and we put them in a separate thing all together. And if we make like a lot, like me, that is going to be a lot, we can you can put it in the fridge. Not in the fridge like this, like here, like frozen. And then you can just put it straight to the boiled water and you have another meal. There are some people that what they do is with these little things they roll it into the fork. Yeah, like this. So they can have like more air in the middle. But this takes a lot of time and this is not my case and this is not my channel. My channel is fast and easy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I mean, if you want to do it, if you're inspired, more than welcome. That's a lot of patience for me. So I'm just going to cut them. Now we have one portion ready, let's put it on the boiled water, really careful, you have to be careful. Once they are floating, we take them off with this, I don't have any idea how you call this in English, but let's do it. Done, this looks really good. Now we just add with our cauliflower sauce. We add the sauce and this is ready. Thank you guys, hope you have enjoyed this recipe. See you next time, soy Natasha Luna. If you didn't subscribe yet, please do it. Give me your thumbs up. Leave me if you have any comments, any suggestion. And you can also follow me on Instagram. It's the same, at soy Natasha Luna. See you next time. Bye.